Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. On our media line, Judy Yarborough, city marketer in Reedsville. Hey, Judy, how you doing? Hey, Mike, I'm doing great. I hope you are. I am, yes, and I know you're doing great because there's good news in Reedsville. There are good things happening as people kind of get back out there. But uh, let's jump right in with some of the events coming up, uh, especially Lake Reedsville tomorrow. It, the skies light up tomorrow night. They do light up tomorrow night, and we're very excited. You know, last year we were one of the only cities around that even had fireworks when we did them at J.C. Park, and, um, you know, we had everybody set around the park, you know, outside the gate. Yeah. Um, and so we are so excited to get this event back with people um, out at Lake Reedsville. It's one of the, you know, one of the premier events that we do every year, and um, we get a lot of people out there, anywhere from seven to 10,000 people. So um, it's a lot of fun, and we're excited about it tomorrow. Um, so the gates open at 5. Mm-hmm. The um, prices have not changed. It's $5 a car and $2 a person if you walk in. Things did change a little bit as far as the schedule of, of what's going on out there. There will not be any rides this year for the kids, sadly, but the company that we had been working with was no longer um, in business. And I, I think we found that, you know, a lot of businesses had to shut down during COVID. Yeah, so yeah. Um, so we, we haven't got the rides out there, but we got lots of great stuff. So Quentin uh, Robertson has really done a great job getting all this together. So from 5 to 6.30 is Sam Frybush, and he is, that will be an organ trio, and they do great music. They really do. Um, kind of like an R&B, really. And then from 5 to 9, there's going to be roving performers out there. Mm-hmm. So they're going to have the stilt walkers. Um, they're going to have a magician. Um, the magician is performing between 6.30 and 7. And then the main headline band is called Something for the People, and it is a, an R&B band. They're really good. They're out of Greensboro. From 9 to 10, they got a DJ mix that will be playing music. And then at 9 o'clock, there's going to be um, an LED light show, and that's going to be really cool. Missy did one of those down at Market Square one year, and that was just a really cool event. It's amazing what they can do with those lights. Oh, wow. Um, then at 9.30, there'll be a fire show. So there'll be a performance, performers performing with fire, you know, like with the loops and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the fireworks kick off at 10. I tell you, th- this, is a, this is a big day, and it always is a lot of fun. And Lake Reedsville has, that, has the best around when it comes to Independence Day celebration. It does. And, you know, it is one of those things that what could be prettier than the fireworks over the lake? It's just a beautiful event. It really is. Yeah. Okay. Everything's starting tomorrow at 5 o'clock. All righty. We'll be there. That's right. Good. Right. And I will say there will be food vendors out there um, so and other kind of vendors as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I know you've got some things coming up for the kids you want to talk about, too. We do. You know, so City Council has been working hard on getting a splash pad here in Reedsville, and, and that is coming to fruition. Unfortunately, it's not going to be, um, you know, ready to rock and roll this summer. So it will be by next summer, but not this summer. So they said, you know, we need to do something for the kids. And so the fire department, along with the police department and Parks and Rec, are going to be opening up fire hydrants. How much fun is that? You know, how many years has it been since you did that? Sure. Oh, that's great. We, You know, when I was a little girl over in Greensboro, they would do that in our community every once in a while, and that was so much fun. It's so hot this summer, and it's just a great way for the kids to come out, have a little bit of fun, and get wet. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're calling it Water Wednesdays, and they're going to be starting next Wednesday, July 7th, and it's going to be taking place at the Reedsville Housing Authority. There'll be free ice pops for the kids, and it goes from 1 o'clock to 2.30. Um, they will be skipping the following week, which would be July 14th. They had a conflict there. But then they pick back up again on July 21st at Crestwood Apartments, the 28th at Griggs Park, August 4th at Cambridge Park, and August 11th at Cortland Park. And, of course, that's free, and it's just a great way, like I said, for the kids to come out and get cooled off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kids only? That sounds kind of something I might want to get in on. Well, I don't know. You know, our city manager, Summer Woodard, has said she might go join him one day. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, that might be a good way for us to meet. So, yeah, we'll make a date. Yeah. You know, it gets awfully hot here. So. Oh, that's great. So, uh, Water Wednesdays starting next week. That's right. Okay. That's right. Terrific. 
you know, of course, we've got a lot of great things going on downtown, and we've got some things happening behind the scenes that, you know, unfortunately we can't be talking about yet, but we are super stoked about some things that could be coming downtown. So, But I will say Jill has got her second downtown Friday um, next Friday, July the 9th, and that is rain or shine. Mm-hmm. If you've got a classic car, truck, motorcycle, um, and even if it's not classic, but it's classic to you, you are more than welcome to bring it out. There's no registration fee. You just show up, and they'll park you somewhere. She's got music, and she'll have bounce houses for the kids. The Regional Chamber of Commerce sponsors the beer garden. So it's just a lot of fun for everybody to get out. You know, some of the shops are open downtown, and it's just a great way for people to gather and have a good time and look at some really cool cars. Okay, second uh, downtown Fridays at Mural Park. So the next one is a ninth, and I know you've got uh, August 13th and September 10th on your schedule as well for that. What a great that's, event. That's a, that's a good, exactly right. You know, that really is a good event. She gets a lot of... A um, lot of good people out there for that, and um, it's just, you know, people just, I think they look forward to it. So, sure, And it runs from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., and mm-hmm. again, it's happening this year, rain or shine. Okay, so. <laughs> great. It's on my calendar. I've got it. Okay. Um, then on the 24th of July, she's got her second concert of the season. That concert last weekend with the Journey Tribute Band was an awesome concert. She had a huge crowd out there, um, and they just had a ball. Um, this next one is going to be July 24th, and it'll be an 80s ultimate 80s band, which is going to be a really cool concert called Cassette Rewind. Mm. So that'll be a lot of fun. Again, those are all free events. It's at 7 o'clock that night. Um, there's food vendors out there. The Chamber of Commerce sponsors the beer garden for that. There's lots of things for the kids to do. There's chalk. There's huge tic tac. I mean, it's just it's just a lot of fun, and people have a lot of fun at that. Just remember to bring your chair. Mm-hmm. Okay, so July 24th for that. Got it. Right. So um, she's also started registration for the Fab Festival. And, you know, we're not doing our festival like we have in the past before. City Council decided last year that they wanted to change things up. You know, we've been doing that festival for almost 30 years. Wow. And um, there's so many festivals in the fall. You know, there's just a ton of them. And we just, we, we've just we decided to change things up some. So her festival in October is called the Fab Festival, which is food, art, and brew. <laughs> and um, she's rounding up those vendors now. She is looking for art vendors. Um, She wants, you know, the high-end art. Um, They're going to have a a person out there doing sandcastles, building sandcastles. She wants interactive. Mm -hmm. So um, she's recruiting vendors for that now. And then, you know, of course, she'll have the food trucks out there. She's recruiting those as well. And the brewery. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I know it's going to be a lot of difference than what we have done in the past. But Keep in mind, we, we've got other things in mind for May of 2022. And so that's when we'll be doing a really bigger festival, and that's going to be out at Lake Reedsville. Mm, wow. Okay. And I, I love the name. I love the Fab <laughs> name on that. I know. Fab Festival. That's a great name, and it is perfect. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. And that's, that'll, be a lot, that'll be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. So, um, so the other thing I wanted to share with um, folks, is we got some really good news this week. I'm getting ready to do a press release on it today. We had to confirm everything, but Smart Asset, which is a finance, uh, personal finance company, um, looks at you know your finances and retiring and all that stuff. And they did their figures this year for North Carolina and the top ten cities to retire in North Carolina. And it's based on tax friendliness as quality of life issues. Sure. You know, how much uh, recreation there is, your uh, medical centers, and all kinds of things. And um, Reedsville ranked in the top ten. So we were stoked about that. That is just a really great thing. Congratulations on that. You know, and I remember uh, through the years, uh, always good news about uh, Reedsville as a wonderful retirement community. It, it truly is. You know, we we have been a part of the North Carolina Certified Retirement Community for five years. There are like 18 cities in the state of North Carolina that are part of that program, and it's a program You not everybody can join it. I mean, it's a rigorous process to get in. You have to fill out an application. You have to have 
certain criteria within your community to even be in the program. And part of that is health care, access to recreation, um, access to a metro, and it's really designed for smaller communities. And so we have been in that program for five years. We're getting ready to renew in this upcoming year in 2020. 22, mm-hmm. and so it is, um, it's been very beneficial for us. It truly has. We have really been able to get Reedsville's name out there nationally, and we have really been able to recruit a lot of people to move to our area. And when we say these folks are retirees, I want everybody to keep in mind, these are folks that are retiring, that are starting second careers, yeah. they're opening businesses. Um, they're mentoring, they're volunteering in your community. You know, they're truly an asset for your community. You know, it's exciting when, when we hear these stories, and you, you and I have talked about them before, people coming into the area and, and even people that have uh, been here for many years. Uh, retirement is not uh, not, not our, our father's retirement, is it? Oh, Lord, no. No. <laughs> no. People it's are so like active. like that anymore. It, yeah. it truly is not. It's uh, These people are very active. You know, well, you know, I look at how old I am, and I think, you know, um, you know, I don't, I don't know that my mom had as much energy as I do at at the age I am. Mm-hmm. So sure. I think our whole dynamics have changed. So, yeah. you know, what is it they say the uh, fifty is the new forty or something like that? Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a, uh, you know, I think people have taken care of their health and their, um, you know, they think more about retirement and you know, starting another chapter to their life. Sure. It's, it's not, I don't think they look at it anymore. If that's the end of my career. It's all downhill from here. I think they look at it as it's the end of my professional career. And now I'm going to start a new one. I, so, I, I like yeah. the way you said it. just another chapter, another, another, another part of your life. And, uh, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, congratulations yes, exactly. again on that. And, and to newcomers, uh, to the area, welcome. We're glad you're here. Yeah, we certainly are. Yeah. Well, Judy, uh, thanks for all the good news. Uh, you always bring us such, uh, such wonderful things, and uh, we'll get these events on our calendar. Where's the best place, uh, if someone is listening and they're not taking notes like I'm trying to do, that they can get this information? So the information on the events is going to be on the Rise Up Reedsville site. Um, which is riseupreadsville.com. You can also find it on the city website, which is readsvillenc.gov. Mm-hmm. Um, so all that information is there, and that will give you information about all the events. Okay. Well, Judy, thanks uh, to you and, and Team Readsville for putting it together for us to enjoy. I appreciate it. We all do. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Mike. Thanks for all you do. Okay. Talk to you next month. Okay. Okay. All righty. Judy Yarborough uh, on the line with us. She is city marketer in Reedsville. And again, uh, please check out that website. Uh, several sources of information, good resources and tools. But uh, the main one might be right there at riseupreedsville.com. And I remind you, as always, to shop local, support our hometown businesses.